For we know, verse 1 of chapter 5, that if our earthly house of this temple, no, of this tabernacle, were dissolved, we have, not we hope, we maybe, we've got it, people. We have a building of God and house and house not made with hands, eternal in the Lord. Why? Because of verse 14. Knowing that he which raised up the Lord Jesus Christ shall also raise us up by Jesus and shall present us with you. That's why all these fit together. Back to 1 Corinthians 15. What shall we be like? It's a complete transformation. It is a manifestation of the sons of God. The transfiguration of Jesus on the Mount of Transfiguration, as we refer to it, is a very wonderful illustration of what we shall be like in many respects. If I have the time to work it all with you. It is technically a recreation. It is technically a recreation. You know, people, when we came the first time, when we were born, we we're born of the flesh. We we're born of our parents. When we came the first time, the laws of God had been so set that you came like a king. Do you know someone? Are you known by someone? Do you have life? Can our fathers, then not, who have set these laws for our first coming, make it so that in the gathering together or in the resurrection, we shall have a new body fashioned like unto his glorious body, and that we shall know even him, even as we are what? This does not seem to me to be a difficulty. It seems to me to be a glorious reality, a wonderful truth, something that ought to do for us what it did for the first century Christians. They always had an expectation, a hope for the return of Christ. They were looking for it all the time. They expected it to happen tonight. They were hoping it would come tonight. This kind of message today falls almost on deaf ears across our nation. For we're not hoping for his return. We're looking for a great society put together by a man or man. We're looking for an age of utopia when men can be lazy and do nothing and reap all the benefits. And that people is a contrary to the laws of God and the laws of the universe and the laws of society and everything else. Only our God can bring to pass that which the word records. And it's only our God who can do and will do what he says. Now we're going to read what he says from Greek. Every man, verse 23, in his own what? Order. Christ the first fruit. Christ the first fruit. If anybody else is up ahead of Christ, then Christ is not the what? If Elijah is up there, and Moses, and Enoch, then Christ is not the what? Amen. And we had just read a little while ago, in Adam all shall what? Die. And in Hebrews, you'll remember that chapter. I've read it to you many times. Bless your heart. Some of you that have forgotten it, I better read it again. Hebrews. Chapter 11. Verse 13, after it had listed all these great men, including Enoch, it said, These all what? Died. These all died. They were not taken to heaven. They were not dropped along the way. These all died. 
1 Corinthians it says, For in Adam all us. This is why in Hebrews 11, we could have hit this scripture a little while ago in verse 35, Women received their dead raised to life again, and others were in tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better what? Resurrection. The better resurrection, the better one, there are only two what? Resurrections. The first one is the resurrection of the just, and that is the better resurrection of Hebrews 11. The second one is the resurrection of the unjust. That's not the better one. No good still a resurrection. Now, afterwards, afterwards, back to Corinthians 15, 23. Afterwards, they that are Christ at or with his coming is the text. Every man in his own order. Christ the first fruit. Afterwards, they that are Christ with his coming. Then cometh the what? End. After all of this comes the end. And the word there is talos. The end of the end. It is not the word samkalia, it's the word talos. When he shall have delivered up the kingdom to God, even the Father, when he shall put down all rule and authority and power, for he must reign till he hath put all enemies under his feet and the last friend. You hear the poets writing about death being a friend? The Bible says it is what? Enemy. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is what? For he hath put all things under his feet. Verse 28, And when all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the Son also himself be subject unto him that put all things under him, that God may be all in all. I want to go on here and pick up these other verses. Verse 34, Awake to righteousness and sin not, for some have not the knowledge of God, I speak this to your shame. But some will say, how are the what? dead raised up? Here you are now. And with what body do they what? And then he uses some illustrations that are real wonderful. Thou fool, verse 36, that which thou sowest is not quickened except it die. And that which thou sowest, thou sowest not that body which shall bear grain again, it may chance wheat or some other grain. But God giveth it a what? As it has what? And to every seed his own what? God giveth it a body. The first time according to the law of God, God gave it a what? Body. And the second time God's going to do what? Give it a body. All flesh is not the same flesh. But there is one kind of flesh of men and other flesh of beasts, and other fishes, other birds. they are also celestial bodies, bodies terrestrial. But the glory of the celestial is what? The glory of this physical body you have here in the now is one. The glory of the body you're going to have when you shall be like him is another. That's what he's saying. There's one glory of the sun, another glory of what? Verse 20, 42. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is sown in corruption. For when that body is put in the ground, what happens to it? Just thou art and unto what? Because the law is everything has to go back to its original form or state. It is sown in corruption, but praise God when it's raised, it is raised in what? In corruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in growth. It is sown in weakness. And in our present bodies and life, always weakness. You know it. But when it is raised, it is raised in what? Amen. It is sown a natural body, but it is raised a what? Spiritual body. It is raised a spiritual body. Not the spiritual body of Swedenborg, but the spiritual body of Christ, which is to be like him. There is a natural body, and there is a what? So it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. The first man, Adam, was a living soul, but the last Adam was a 
quickening, a life quickening spirit. That's the life of it. Where was the life of the first man? Where is it? In the blood. The soul life of man is where? In the blood. Leviticus 17, 11. The life of the place is in the blood. But the life of this second man, when he is raised, that life in that man is a life quickening spirit. What is it? I don't know. The scripture says it is to be like him. 